Remember when they hate me? Didn't think we made it? Not everything they used to look at me. Remember when I called you? And you didn't fall through. Now you in your face. good with y'all all right so what are we getting into today all right so as far as today goes man today's gonna be a little bit more slow pace uh, i'm about to go outside i'm about to go to the store and do some other running around and stuff like that but today my main focus is cleaning up the swings thing so hey i hate having to reiterate on it but you guys know that all the shit with paint and all that stuff there were things that were messed up so today I'm either getting to pretty much cleaning it up and getting things back to kind of where I want them at. So uh, today I'm gonna be probably tucking the wire harness. That's all the stuff that's under the dash from all the old cluster and everything. Just getting everything cleaned up, looking more presentable. Uh, my window actuator that he ended up stripping by using the vice grips and stuff. I'm gonna see if I can probably file that down to get new door handles or the new window handle things to work because I already ordered them. But if I throw them on right now, all they're gonna do is get stripped. So I will have to file the, the grooves down to get it to hopefully work again. Um, and yeah, so today it's just really just clean up stuff with the swing stain, getting it looking more presentable and just, you know, getting things where I'm like, all right, cool. And I, I don't hate the car because right now I'm at a point where the car performs well, it looks pretty good. It's just the little stuff that he fucked up just turned me off completely on the car. So um, yeah, today I'm gonna try to just clean it up, mess with it, and just fall back in love with it. So we'll see how today goes, but I am probably gonna go to D's garage for a little bit too. But yeah, that's pretty much what we got going on today. So anywho, let's get into today. Oh, feels good outside. Nice little breeze. But I, right, my peoples, my peoples, today we messing with this range thing. Messing with this. So I'll show y'all kind of like uh, the things that are annoying me. I need to get the door panel back on. I need to go to Ace Hardware because I need to find a bolt. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of shit that I'm about to be cleaning up today. All right, so the little clips that I'm gonna be needing or these little grommet things to hold the other door on. It's gonna be a similar style. I'm not sure where these little uh, pieces went, but there should be a piece on the door. I think it probably lost that. These handles are actually supposed to be for for Schwang stain. That's why I got the red ones in here. Uh, there should be some green ones somewhere in here for the for the turbo coupe. I'm not sure where they at. I gotta find them shits. See y'all can see the wiring and stuff right here. I'll be trying to tuck this up, just getting it out the way way. Getting my door panel back on. The actuator that he stripped out and rounded off right there, pretty bad. Focus. There we go. We can zoom. So yeah, hopefully I can file this down and get it to where the handle will work on here again. But yeah, man, just a little dumb shit, bro. A little dumb stuff. Let's start up, bro. Let's go in here and get these grommet things real quick and then we out, we out. What up, Is that new tank you made? Yeah. Damn, you're gonna leave me hanging. Mm. Oh, shit, sorry. Jeez! Yeah, I'm on night shift, dude, <laughs> so I, mean, I literally got home at five, six o'clock this morning and got back up. So does this thing separate the water and the ice? But yeah, it's just, I'm just gonna do them a little differently because I'm gonna make that the whole f ice chamber. I just mm. did a small one. He was trying to get ready for doing all this. Sh 
once I whip something together. But you just put the ice in there and then you can drain it as it's melting. There's a drain on mm. right there. So the water never touches the ice? No, the coolant never touches the ice. So how I'm gonna do it next is- Does that work better? Yeah, no, you're not diluting your shit either. Yeah. But the next way I'm doing it is this will be a separate tank than this and there'll just be a one inch line that comes in and goes down to it so then you fill that whole chamber with ice mm. instead so you just cool in the line as it's going through okay but i mean do you saw the size of the can this thing can't really have yeah so he's got delta it goes all the way down here it's full you know full thing it's just got a tube in it to put the ice but uh so i need for my 350z but I got a huge one in there though. That oh, was in the trunk. That's like a four and a oh, half gallon. Dude, that's so. the best way to do it too. That's what I'm doing for uh, Carlo. His GTO. I'm doing a trunk one. Yeah, this is nice if you ain't got space though. Yeah. You got it's subs and everything in there. It's better than the shit it comes with or yeah. factory ones. Yeah, and it's better than nothing at all. Dude. Yeah. So helping a little bit's better than broken. I still gap them though. Man, what's up, bro? Bed, you're gonna take it off. Are you looking at me like that? What's up, Black? Where's Tink Tink at? Still I called that nigga an hour ago. Alright, man, here we go, here we go. Y'all see these and shit. And you see me when you see next to the stock bodies, you be like, God damn, that nigga my car hella wide. Stock body, wide body. I'm just gonna say, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna beat the uh, team wide body. <laughs> All right, but here we go, here we go. Now, I'm gonna start cleaning up this stuff. I'm gonna wait until D gets here. That way we can uh, drill out whatever rivets we need to drill out. That way the doors actually work and lock because these were power doors and none of the doors and shit lock. <laughs> Like, I guess it's a little different. So D said we can drill out some rivets or something and get all my mechanical um, locks and everything working like normal. So I'm waiting for him before I put the panels on, but all the wiring and stuff right here, I want to get this stuff uh, tucked up. I don't want to just sit in here dangling. So that's why to be my, my little mission right now is to clean this stuff up. So last look, all this stuff, and then we'll jump into this thing just being, you know what I'm saying, all complete. So yeah, it's kind of hot out here. So I want to try to get this done real quick. You want to see something crazy? Y'all know how y'all be asking for Mike to start working on this shit again, but look this one. Jay, you got this nigga working on his car again. I don't know if that was a blessing or a fucked up situation. Hey, what you doing over here? Fixing that shit? Fixing the shit that didn't get fixed? Pretty much. Oh man, somebody's got to you know, do it. Shit that wasn't like that before. <laughs> Hey, the horn blows, what about the driver? <laughs> All right, there y'all go. No more wires dangling down here. Everything tucked away. The only thing is this little wire right here, you can see that red power wire. It's a little on the tight side, but that's because, yeah. There's no really no no plan that so I left it kind of loose enough to where it could move around but yeah ain't no really unless I pull it all the way out and redo the wire just gonna have to be like this I don't want to really cut it and splice it to get the length so I'm gonna just leave it like that for now but as far as everything else under here everything's tucked away under the dash all right next on my agenda is I'm gonna be trying to file this down. So I got this little file right here. Hopefully I can get the grooves back in this thing because he didn't round it off. Uh, I'm gonna try it. I got new handles somewhere over here. You can see that one has a new handle. The other one should be probably in the LMR box. But I'm gonna see if I can file this. If not, I'll probably have to uh, use a cutoff wheel or something, a Dremel or something to add the grooves back. But yeah, let me uh, get the file and see if this is gonna work. And then after that, we'll get on these door panels and drilling out these rivets and stuff to get these doors to work properly and then I think that'll be pretty much it for what I'm gonna be doing today man y'all can see my ass sweating it is hot this thing got me out here in the heat bruh in the heat doing this ass stuff but here it is almost there 
filing, filing, filing. This thing will focus. You can see it's definitely better than what it was. It was all bad before, but come on. There we go. So I've been filing it, trying to get the grooves back. Yes, this should work. But I'm gonna keep filing and see if I can get it better. But here's the old handle. This old handle is like, y'all probably can't see it. I ain't even gonna try to make the camera focus on it, but it's all stripped out in there, obviously. So, but even this one's working. So with the brand new one right here, has all the grooves. It should, it should, yep, look like it's grabbing, but I wanna do some more cutting, make sure this ain't gonna strip these out. All right, so my guy Tink Tink just got back. So now I'm popping off this, uh, this panel right here. So I'm gonna be drilling out these rivets that we need to drill out. That way we can get these locking mechanisms and systems to work how they're supposed to. And then I'll get the door panels all the way on. Set some rivets you gotta drill out over here. Yeah, you can see, look. It does nothing, Craig, it does nothing. So that's all it is, the keys are from locking? Well, no, what it is, oh, that one made it even easier. So not listen. Yeah, you messing up my paint, bro. <laughs> all right man all done look doors locked now door panels on got, got this filed out to where the new handle is actually working <laughs> took hella long to file that out to get this handle to work on here but look working so all i need to find is maybe i'll hit up lrb and see if they can send me uh a little adapter for this thing so I can put my red handles that are on the swings thing or the ones that are on the turbo coupe on here and then swap the turbo coupes to the green things. Oh yeah, so D's about to extend that wire I was talking about. He's worried about a passenger kicking that shit and we lose power to the holly. And I gotta be working out in the heat, out in the middle of the track and everything else. Always a problem now. Look at that zip tie wire tuck, baby! Out the way, shit, it's here. Oh, it. Bro, it was hella shit right here. It was all dangling now. I'm gonna start offering wire tugs, boy. Ball it up and put it in the, put it, put it up somewhere. You no, know, what's good? You got some practice, cause the green one, make sure you got a big bag. <laughs> you need all that. <laughs> Look, D over here doing little twisty dudes. You know what I mean? <laughs> little That's twisty dudes. To Twist them together and throw some electrical tape over it. Fast and efficient. Yeah, big one cheap, so that's a cheap boy. So they've been over here wrapping deep. Big ass truck. Okay, Look, they're over here doing the Fast and the Furious graphics. Fast and the Furious? You ain't know my body kiss stuff here. We're putting the factory touch on it. Alright, back up. Back up this way? Tighter. Pull that over. He trying to he trying to line it up with the line that's on there. Come on, you know you don't line shit up straight. You ain't holding it. Look, it's already wrinkled. I'm already pulling it out. Look, you ain't holding it tight. Show fault, bro. Okay, how about this? How about this? Why don't you start from the straight point first? Let me do that side. You do this side. There is no that side. You gotta start from here. I know. So switch sides. That ain't right, bro. That ain't it. Now it has to curve. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So everybody get your curve. What? Everybody get your curve. Oh boy. Oh, it's my truck. Oh, if anybody's gonna fuck it up, it's gonna be me. 
I don't know, I'm gonna go that far. Okay. We gotta work our way down. Where's the squeegee? Get his, uh, get his man squeegee! He needs squeegee! He got the fucking angry oh, sand finger. <laughs> he already got a he already got a crease in it. Yeah, crack crease in the bubble off and then it's gotta be way for that thing to pull back off. Heat it. Look, bro, I got the perfect dough. Oh, right now. Like Drop it, give me 50. Drop it like it's hot. I'm scared to push it. I don't want it to get stuck with that oh, crease in it. it. <laughs> oh, I got it out, son. Look at that. <laughs> Is it, yeah, that there's one gotta there. get this one right here for you. I don't know if this one gonna come out. You already boofed it. Damn it, I'm on camera. I can't blame someone. I said, so you gotta pull back because like, I got bubbles all in the, the bottom there. Come on, come on. Come on. Boy! Boy, Mike, Mike, the rapper. Yeah. I'm gonna charge you for this. Trade <laughs> work. <laughs> yeah, bubbles out. Oh, that shit wavier than Jay's uh, Mike's car. Look at that, that thing looks very good. Don't go all the way. Don't go all the way? Nah, it's looking. It's looking mighty fantastic over here, bro. A couple little bubbles, but. I don't know what this is. What are you thinking? Not bad. Look good for my house. <laughs> Hey, what's good? What's good, my peoples? Y'all can see we are back at the hut. So yeah, man, driving this thing around has been fun. So I might end up keeping this. If I get rid of something, I might get rid of the LS3 G35. But as of right now, I'm really enjoying this and love driving around. And it's my, it's purpose built, man. If I get rid of this, I gotta slide the green car or something. So I kinda have to keep this if I'm really uh, dead set on drifting. But yeah, man, C5 still sitting here, haven't decided on whether I want to do the LS7 or if I want to do an LS3. C6, same conditions, been running solid, no issues with this thing. Just waiting for Alex to get back, that way we can address this head issue. Uh, probably deck it, get my power back, or swap the Big Dead YSI supercharger on it. 350Z just broke the clutch in, finally got 500 miles on this new triple disc. Uh, this car feels absolutely amazing, I think the 350Z is the second fastest car on the channel now. The 350Z actually knocked the C6 down. The C6 is now the third fastest car on the channel and the LSA 350Z has now taken second place right behind the SC300. So yeah, man, cars are getting faster. As far as the truck, a lot of y'all have been asking me what's been going on with the truck. Beto sent me update pictures today. It looks like he has the fuel pump system or the, looks like he has the fuel system down. So the truck now has dual pumps. We switched it over to a new operating system. So the truck should come back a lot nastier than ever. Wire tuck, the truck is gonna be fucking clean when y'all see it again. But uh, yeah, man, that's it for today. It's kind of cold out here. I want to go in here, grub, get some food, then hop in the shower and chillax. But yeah, quick update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed messing with the swing stand. A lot of you guys are preferring me to keep this thing over the G35. And I'm guessing you guys are just digging it because of you guys know that drifting content comes with that car. Anywho, let's, uh, let's wrap this up. Till next time, we out. <laughs> Niggas 